God, let's get more about that. And who can forget this? The beginning of the end for the Saranaya brothers. That was Thursday night's gunfight that killed Tamerlan Sarnayev and wounded his younger brother, who somehow escaped, though not for long. Curtis Hazlett, who is an eyewitness to all of that, he joins me now. I want you to take us back to that night and what you heard and saw. When you heard the, the, the when you saw the video that you said that was your neighborhood? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, it was about one in the morning, I was asleep and woke up to the house kind of shaking and a loud boom. Um, at first I didn't really think it was too much and um, you know, I heard a second boom and at that point realized something was going on so I went to the window. Um, by the time I got to the window, uh, about three police cars came up and parked right in front of my house and they got out and immediately started um, exchanging gunfire with um, the individuals. I couldn't see them because they were down the street blocked by a house. Yeah, but you were on the third floor. Yes, correct. And then, but you did see the, the exchange between the police and, and the brothers. You said that, you said that the older brother, yes, Carolyn, charged police officers. He, he did. Yeah, but at one point he ran towards the police and then tried to go across the road and a police officer ran out and grabbed him and basically took him down to the ground. So the police had them cornered? Yes. And the, and the, one, the older one got out of the car? Uh, I, I couldn't see the car, so I don't know if they were in a car or not. Um, okay. I assume they weren't. All right. Did you see? They said that they were throwing explosives out of the car. Did you see that, or uh, I just saw the explosives going off. Um, I couldn't see their car or them until he had come into police view or okay. into my view. So the older brother gets out of the car, charges police officers, police take him down. Yep. And they're on. They're trying to handcuff him on the ground. Yep. And then what happens? Um, at that point. Um, a black SUV came out from behind the house where they were and I couldn't see him and ran over his brother. So do you believe the younger one was um, in the SUV? Yeah. Okay, Jahar was in the SUV driving and ran over his own brother. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you believe he killed him, his own brother? I do believe so, yes. Well, what happened to police? What, what happened when, when he drove towards him? Um, there were two police officers who had their back to where the car was because they were trying to um, subdue uh, the, the first suspect. And um, they got out of the way just in the nick of time. Um, he went over them and then they started shooting rounds into the SUV and then took off to follow the SUV. But there were a bunch of cops that stayed back to tend to the first suspect. When he ran over his brother, yeah. what happened? You said, did he drag him? He, uh, he, yeah, about 20 feet. About 20 feet, he dragged his own brother yeah. down the street. Um, what were you guys doing? Was, were you alone at the time? Uh, my roommate and his girlfriend were um, in the third floor with me. Um, and my roommate and I were at the window, um, and his girlfriend was in the other room. Your reaction? Uh, shock, awe, um, nervous, anxious, um, the whole realm, really. Yeah. So. Yeah. Unbelievable. And what did they do? Like, what did they do once the, that the car got away? And you said they were shooting rounds at the car. Mm -hmm. The police who were there on the scene did they attend to the the other person, or was it too far away? They they attended to the officer that was down, the the transit officer. So first. he hit the up. Yeah. Okay, got it. They got him in an ambulance within a matter of minutes yeah. and off. And then um, about ten or so minutes later, they had an ambulance at the scene for the suspect. Curtis, thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. I really appreciate you joining us. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So so much. Uh, remembering one of their own.